your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. John Calipari's coaching staff will lose a top assistant. Barry Slice Roarson is reportedly leaving the Kentucky basketball program. Evan Daniels of Scout.com was the first to report that Roarson is finalizing a deal to become an assistant at St. John's University. The Red Storm recently hired Chris Mullen as its new head coach. Both are from New York and have been friends since high school. Evan Daniels is also reporting that Tony Barbie will move from special assistant to assistant coach for the Wildcats. Now to the baseball cats. They had a chance to take the series down in Arkansas on Sunday. They put 16 runs in a 16 to 4 win on Saturday, making it the largest win over the Razorbacks in the history of the series. Problem is they may have used them up a little too much. Down 4 nothing to the Hogs in the eighth in the rubber match. Make it 5 nothing. Solo shot to left. By Arkansas's Tyler Spoon, part of a three-run inning for the Razorbacks. Kentucky able to avoid the shutout in the ninth now. 7-1, to one, Javon Shelby delivers the no-doubter into the seats in the left. Second straight game, Shelby has gone deep, but Arkansas takes the series 7-3. to three. The Cincinnati Reds ended a six-game homestand to start the season today at Great American Ballpark. Red Legs taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. St. Louis has won 13 out of the last 15 series. Uh, Jay Bruce gets us started in the bottom of the second. Deepest part of the park. Yeah, John Jay, you're not going to get there. Second long shot of the year for Bruce. Top five now, Matt Carpenter at the dish. The Carpenter putting in work on a Sunday. Yadier Molina and Colton Wong score. St. Louis up 3-1 now in the bottom of the fifth. Billy Hamilton. He gets all of it. First home run of the year for Hamilton. Reds within a run. Bottom seven now, same score. Bases loaded for Todd Frazier. Ball drops. He gives the Reds the one-run lead. Two RBI for him. Next inning. Reds now up two runs. Johnny Peralta. Woohoo! Skyrockets. Get up, get out, two-run homer, and we're tied at five. Game goes to extra innings in the 11th. Carpenter, goodness. Goodbye, second career, four RBI game for the Carpenter. Reds lose their second straight 7-5. to five. They'll head to Chicago to play the Cubs for their first road series of the year on Monday night. More at State quarterback Austin Kafer expected to be the starting quarterback when the Eagles start the season, and... At Saturday's spring game, he really showed out. The junior was 15 for 21, a buck 69 in the air and a couple of touchdowns. He's already thrown for more than 5,200 yards in his first two seasons at Moorhead, and he continues to grow under quarterbacks coach and Manchester native Zach Lewis. Um, yeah, I, I've made some improvements just knowing the offense better. Uh, got Coach Lewis now with uh, my quarterback coach. He's definitely helped me a lot, just uh, just in minor things. That's right now. That's the most important part for me, just getting minor stuff down on defenses, on you know, just knowing checkdowns and all that right now. Six wins in a row for the Lincoln Memorial University softball team. The Lady Rail Splitters played a doubleheader today. Game one, they won. So make it seven straight wins and win number 75 for head coach Natalie Layden. Let's go to game two now. LMU taking on Brevard, the Tornadoes. Coming in to Harrogate, Tennessee's second inning. Runners at second and third. Kelly Dreer taps it to short. She's out at first but gets the RBI. Kristen McAndrew scores. Same inning. We have plenty of snow this winter, but LMU doesn't mind a little more. Amanda Snow. Three-run jack for her. Next inning, Megan Tice. Drives it into center field, and guess who it is again? It's Snow again coming home to touch home plate. She did it three times in the game. Same inning. Savannah Couch, they call her Sofa. Drops one into far right field. That brings home Jennifer Moose, her second run of the day. She finished with three. Uh, LMU shuts out Brevard 16-0. Eighth straight win for LMU. Every day is important for us right now, especially in the middle of conference. Um, you know, we, we've got a lot going on next week with a ton of rain coming in. Every game we can win is important. Uh, you know, we, we owe to Brevard a little bit from last season, and, you know, I think our team did a nice job stepping up today, even though they played back-to-back -back days yesterday against Catawba and then coming out here today and playing well. And, you know, I, I think they've done a nice job with that. Sunday at Augusta, it is something special. Jordan Spieth, a year ago, he could have gone down as the youngest ever to win the Masters. He finished runner-up, though. Today, going for some redemption. Before he got on the course, 
He chatted it up with the four-time Masters champ himself, Tiger Woods. Spieth coming into the day on the final day with a four-shot lead and the crowd favored. Approach shot at the first. Solid. He's on the green in two. Justin Rose goes on to knock in his putt first, and now it's Spieth for the birdie. Got it. He's 17 under on the tournament. Now to the par for third. Spieth, another birdie try. He finishes with 28 birdies at this year's Masters. That's the most ever. Now 18 under for the tournament. Spieth was in the driver's seat all day, and he never let off the gas here at the 15th. Another birdie. He becomes the first player in history to get to 19 under at the Master. Mama looking on. That's his brother. He's actually a starting guard at Brown University. Uh, here he is on the 18th. His one blip, actually, it was a bogey. That's okay, Speed. Go get you a green jacket out of the closet. Final round of 70. Jordan Speed wins the Masters at 21 years old, second youngest to do so next to Tiger. He ties the Masters record with the lowest score with the 270 and 18 under par. How do you sum up this week? You shoot 64 and you had to sleep on the lead every single night. Yeah, it's the most incredible week of my life. I mean, this is, uh, this is as great as it gets in our sport. This is a dream come true for me. And to be able to, you know, sh I didn't break 70 last year, even having a chance to win where I got edged out by Bubba here. But um, to shoot some low rounds and to see some putts go in out here and hear those roars, it was, uh, it was remarkable. Just an incredible, incredible story for Jordan Speed to win the Masters at 21 years old. And he went to bed every night, like he said, with the lead, and it never let up. Unbelievable. Very, very impressive, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back after this.